be honest have you opened canvas turned at the blank page and thought i'm not a designer i'm going to mess this up same here i used to open it stare and close it in this video i'm taking you from zero to a live sellable product today no design skills and of course no guessing i will show you the exact canvas size the one export setting that beginners always miss and how to drop it on printify so it is ready to sell by the end of this video listen if you can copy and paste you can do this so stick with me i'm going to walk you from blank canvas to a live product and i'll call out those spots where people usually mess up so you can skip the pain so yes where beginners usually mess up and I'm saying this with love because I did every single one of this the first one is the canvas size you start small because it looks good on your screen and then the pictures end up soft and a little blurry the second one is the export you hit download it looks good on white but the background is not actually transparent so once you put it on a hoodie you will get that awkward box around your design that is an instant nope from customers the third one is is the mock-up you pick a random flat image that doesn't match the vibe of your brand and it just doesn't sell the feeling and then we have the price it's either you price it too low so you make pennies or it's too high with no value shown and your listing just sit there listen i've done all of this and it feels expensive and also is so so demotivating and it makes you feel like you are not cut out for this when really it's just a little fixes so let me hand you the exact settings and flow that I wish I had from day one. So we are going to face the size, face the export, fix your photos, and of course, face your price step by step. By the end of this video, you will have a clean Canva design, perfectly sized, exported the right way, and live inside Printify with lifestyle photos that actually convert. And a smart price that leaves room for profit, even with free shipping. So relax, let us start with Canva. Open Canva, then go to custom size and create a custom size of 4,500 by 5,400 100 pixels we are doing this big on purpose to help keep your design stay sharp add a test then you want to write a phrase from your niche you can keep it short like two to four words think something like soft life club bookish and busy or dog bomb era if you're not sure about your niche i have my free pack starter kit down below this video to help you pick a niche that you love and without getting overwhelmed it is free and of course you can get it below this video now you need to pick a clean font maybe some Something like Ceric for cozy or maybe sound for streetwear. Make it large about 60 to 70% of the canvas and make sure that you center it. And that is it. If it feels plain, that is okay because minimal sell and it looks premium on a garment. So we are letting this garment do the selling. Now let us lock in the export so that your design actually come out in high quality. So you want to first of all name this something that you will recognize later. Click share and then you want to click on download and then you need to click on PNG and turn on the transparent background. This is very important. And then you want to increase the size for high quality and then you need to download. So if you want a white version for black shirt, all you have to do now is to duplicate this page and then switch the text to white and export that in the same setting. If you've ever uploaded a design and it looks blurry, it's almost the wrong size or a non-transparent file. If you don't toggle this on, you get a weird result like this. If you want some tiny graphics to complement your design without actually designing, then you can find some elements right here. You can just search for hat or sparkle and pick any tiny line add version. You need to keep it small, pop it around the test or above it. Use just one element or two. You don't have to use too much. And then you want to export it the same way as a PNG with a transparent background. You see, this is clean simple done you don't need more you need to stop trying to be a designer when you're not a designer a lot of people think that they need to have this special design skills in order to sell in the print on demand market and that's not true because simple text designs like this sell a lot and i'm saying this based on experience because the more you play around with canva the more you will get familiar with the tools and the more you will have that experience to move these little elements around so once you start playing around with canva then you can start adding more elements if you want to now let us send this to printify to make this real you want to log into printify then click on catalog and start with the hoodie 
I like the Unisys Heavy Blend hoodie, right? Then you need to pick a provider close to your audience for faster shipping. I normally use Mustard Digital. Then you want to click on Start Designing, upload your PNG, and then drag it to the chest level area. Keep it within the safe area because you don't want your design to be cut off. So for the colors you need to add to your store, you can start with white, ash, dark header, black, sand. You see, these are neutral colors that are best selling you can add more colors if you want to but if you're selling on shopify i recommend you do five to seven colors i see people say about 13 colors to 15 colors on etsy which is okay because that's a marketplace people are trying to really compete with each other so you don't want someone to come to your shop and don't get the color they want and they go to the next seller to buy but on shopify this is your personal website this is about you so when they come you have the normal basic neutral colors they are just going to click on it and buy you can offer other colors later on but i advise that you start with this or at least have this four colors right in your store and then add any other color you want and for the size you can start with at least small to 2s large then maybe later if a customer or your customers start asking for bigger size then you can add that to your store but i think having small all the way to 2 slash large is perfect now preview this to see how it will look on the person if the design feels small on the mock-up then you need to come back to like make this bigger a bit and then you need to preview this until it looks confident okay now your design is ready now let's make your photo do the selling you want that first image to stop the scrolling you need that model first and then flat lay second trust me because this is where most people mess up this is where simple test design starts to feel like a brand people don't just buy hoodie anymore they buy the moment that it lives in you can use things like coffee table cozy couch outdoor scenes those little clues make your product look real and what's the price so here is what i use when i want that clean premium mock-up i use timelessly mock-up timelessly mock-up is a curated library of lifestyle mock-up hoodies tees mug totes even flat lays that are shoved in a soft and neutral scene that don't fight with your design the navigation is super beginner friendly at the top right here, I can filter by the product type first, like hoodie, tees, mug, sweatshirt, totes. And then you will see different vibe and mode setting. Think about minimal home, decks at the workspace, studio flat lay, and the color mode always stay consistent. You don't see cheesy background, no busy prompt, just clean images and plenty of negative space so that your design is a star. When I'm shooting a hero, I'm asking myself, does this actually match the vibe of my design for a soft life t-shirt like this i want something that is very cozy and calm so i'm picking a neutral room like this one something that has soft slides and maybe a little bit of beige through pillow you know something that doesn't really compete with my design once i've gotten the mock-up that i like i will grab the high res png file and then i will drop it right here in canva then i will bring my transparent png design and then i'm going to size it right over the chest area and i reduce the opacity to make the seats well on the shirt so it doesn't look like it was just stamp on it and then i'm going to rotate this just a bit just in case the shirt is angled if your garment is dark you need to use your white version design and if it's light then you just simply stick with the black one and you can do the same thing with mugs as well just get your mug mock up add it to canva then add your design and then make sure you make it transparent a bit reduce the opacity so it doesn't look pasted right when your mock-up looks clean at first glance that is your hero image i will export this on canva and set it as photo number one on my listing and then i will do a close up for photo two and a flat lay for photo three that combo the hero close up flat lay stops the screw and builds trust and the best part it took just minutes for us to create not a photo shoot that is why i said that timelessly mock-up is the best way to get lifestyle mock-ups that convert now your listing looks great let us price it so you don't guess and lose money so what you need to do now is check the base cost example let's say it's 27 dollars plus average shipping let's say is five dollars that means your true cost is approximately 34 dollars 
I priced it around $52.95 with free shipping baked in and Shopify fee like $2. That means I keep roughly $16.95. If your shipping is higher or you're running discounts, you need to bump your price up to $1 or $2. Keep it simple and consistent. Then you need to add your SEO keyword title and description. I gave you my pattern of writing good SEO keyword and description is inside my free starter kit. Do not forget to download it. Then you want to click on publish. If you are using Etsy or Shopify, send it over. But if you're using Printify pop-up, you will get a link instantly. Feeling nervous is normal. You just turn your idea into a live product. Yes, a queen win moment I like doing. Anytime you finish, just write the word done in your notes. You're training your brain to see yourself as a finisher. One done becomes two, then two becomes momentum. So go ahead, type done and also type done in the comment. That is progress locking in. So now since you're warmed up, let's quickly run a second product in 60 seconds. Go back to catalog, then mugs and start designing. You need to upload that same PNG. Size it to around eight to nine centimeters wide using their guide. Place it on both sides so it faces the person when they sleep and price it around $17.95 to $19.95 depending on your cost, right? Then make sure you use a lifestyle mock-up and then boom, two products, one design, that is leverage. All right, so this is where some of you freeze. You are probably thinking, okay, cool, Diane, I made the product, but how do I get traffic? I have zero followers. I'm not a content creator. Do I have to run ads? Don't worry, Brit. Okay. You don't need 10,000 followers. And of course, you don't need ads on day one. Your only goal right now is tiny and doable. Get your first 100 real visitors so you start learning. We are going to borrow attention from places that already have it. Our only goal right now is tiny and durable. Get your first 100 real visitors so you can start learning and your listing can start learning. We are going to borrow attention from places that already have it and point it at your product. No dancing, no how long shoot, just three tiny moves and you can do this under 30 minutes even if you're shy on camera. So here's the plan. Simple, repeatable, and beginner friendly and you don't have to show your face. Turn your mock-ups into three to five Pinterest pin. This is another part where your mock-up is important. You see how people are using model at door, cozy spaces, beaches. Yes, you're not just using those mock-up to list. You're also using it as a content marketing images. So you need to make sure you use short captions like minimum cozy hoodie for women and then link it to your product sales page. Another way to do this is to use TikTok slide posts. A lot of people don't do this, but you don't need to post only videos on TikTok to get views or for people to see your products. TikTok slide posts can reach thousands of people. Just show your designs on modern mockups in different light and angles, and then add good sound without showing your face. Showing your design process or even adding tests like, I made this hoodie in 10 minutes, link in my bell. Let's do a little recap. Today, you went from blank Canva to a published Printify product, clean design, correct exports, selling photos, and smart pricing. And then the second product with the same design. If this video helps, hit subscribe. And if you want to grow your sales fast and make more revenue with the same amount of traffic you're getting without more work, open my Shopify bundle video next.